In this video, I want to introduce the geometric distribution, and I'm going to do that via an example. So each time that Jack plays a game, the probability he wins is 0.2. So the probability remains fixed each time he plays the game, 0.2. So that's independent of any other uh, trial. So what is the probability that Jack wins his first game on his third go? Now you can visualize this as a probability tree, if you like. So either going to win or lose on the first go. So that's going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.8. Then we want to work out the probability that he wins on his third go. So he loses, then he loses again, and then he wins. Okay, now you can draw out the rest of this if you like. Don't need it in this case. Okay, but the point is that Jack's going to lose, lose, then win. So this would be 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2. Now, this is going to feel very binomial distribution-esque, okay? Um, and they are very closely linked. So we've got 0 0.8 squared times 0 0.2, and so that would be 0 0.128. So let's say we change it up slightly and said, okay, uh, what's the probability that Jack wins his first game now on his 10th go? So that means that Jack would have to lose nine times and then win. So that would be 0 0.8 to the power of nine times 0 0.2. And we get 0 0.0268 to four decimal places. So what we're working with here is a geometric distribution. And let's define it more formally. Now, uh, this is the geometric distribution is given to you in the formula booklet. It's on page 10 um, in the top half. Okay, uh, They write it slightly differently. They use Q. I'm just going to write it in terms of P. So the probability of x being equal to r is going to be equal to, now we're seeing here that P, if we let P be the probability of success, then here we've got the probability of failure. So that is 1 minus P to the power of, well, that number is always 1 less than that number. So if I want X to be equal to 10, then I need the power to be R minus 1. And that's multiplied by the probability P, so that times that, and that's where R is equal to, well, 1, 2, 3, etc., and 0 otherwise. So this is the geometric distribution, and we write it as X tilde GEO, so X is a geometric distribution, and it's only got one parameter, P, the probability of success. So in the case that we're looking at here, we would say that X is a geometric distribution where P is 0.2, and I'm looking for the probability of X being equal to 10, and that is 0.0268 to four decimal places. So that is how we can formally write it. 